Well, I must say, it's always a terrific spectacle at this particular venue, Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Milan versus Barcelona. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And here's how Milan will line up. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Theo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Marcos Alonso plays with Sergi Roberto in the fullback positions. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski. Thank you for attending Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Enjoy the match. And they kick off here. Rade Krunic. Barca maintain possession. Advantage. Everyone wants to see officials let the play flow in that manner. But now the free kick has to be awarded. Tempele. Will he finish? Nicely saved. Fired over by Usman Dembele. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. Can he make it 1-0? Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. An unforced error, you've got to say. Pedri. Dembele on the ball. Could cross it in here. And you need your defender to take charge. Olivier Giroud. Well, let's see if something comes of this. The well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Dembele. It's with Gundogan. Gavi. Marcus Alonso. Oh, 
could be. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Olivier Giroud. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Gabby. Milan moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And he's made headway. And it's come off the keeper. Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So underway once more. This is far from being in the bag. Milan making sure of that. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Lewandowski, really vital interception. Loftus cheek. Olivier Giroud. Pulisic. And behind it's gone for a corner. Played over. Good pressure, can they make something of this? Marcos Alonso. Well, as you see, Barcelona haven't had too much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. It's been threaded by Lewandowski. Real chance, and still an opportunity. Well, they can keep possession of it now. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Tempele. Well, that is how to play advantage. Breaking at pace. Oh, that's a really good run. But step defending when it mattered. Lewandowski. Pedri. It's with Gundogan. 
Gundogan using all his defensive acumen to cut it out Leal Giroud Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Has eyes for goal! Well, he had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Giroud. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And the ball is loose. And so it is. The first half story has been written. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. And the referee sounding the second half into action. It's Barcelona with the lead here. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Pedri. And a bad pass it was. Gundogan. Lewandowski now. Successfully cut out. This might be ideal for the counter. Giroud. It didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. Kate Delare. Krunic. Will he finish? Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Veering in field here. A very timely interception. The pass could do damage, but no, just offside. Well, it was close, and it is offside. The assistant got that absolutely right. Well, we're into the final half hour. Sometimes the defender reads your mind. That's what happened to Lewandowski. Getting forward. Barca maintain possession. Advantage. Oh, could be. And it's in. A goal for Barcelona. They are the team in charge. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Goal. 
So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? De Kate Delare. And Milan moving the ball with purpose. And let's give credit to the defending. Intelligent threaded pass here. The clearance wasn't decisive. Danger averted for now. And that was a very fine read. Barcelona free kick. It'll be here. And they will make the change now. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Now they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Tempele. Now let's see about the cross. He might be onto something. Lewandowski. He must finish. And the keeper had the measure of it. Delivering it, and a no-nonsense clearance. De Jong. Still not clear. Sergio Roberto. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, really, you've got to say Barcelona in cruise control here, Stuart. Your reflections on their performance? Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. And there to intervene. This attack looks highly promising. Leal and Giroud waits to fire. Well, not the best clearance. Loftus Cheek. Oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And the corner has been given. And over it comes. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Lewandowski. That's well blocked. And that is that, the final whistle is sounded, and it's a victory for Barcelona. What did you make of their performance? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, we never tire of watching Robert Lewandowski when he excels, and he certainly did in this game. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.